Hello there. I am joined by Michael Verkenning from Draeger. How are you, Michael? Very good. And yourself? I'm very well, thank you. So what are you most looking forward to at Arab Health this year? Arab Health is always a great event to just meet people, make new contacts with other industry partners, uh, meet some customers. So it's fun to be here again. And what has Draeger been doing this year to be more sustainable? Well, sustainability is, is, is a big topic, of course, for all the industry. Um, if you just look at this big stand here, all that has been used years before, we will reuse it again. So we really try to limit the waste that we create during such a show, which is our contribution. And what have you brought that's new to Arab Health 2023? Well, one of the things very important is our new uh, open care baby warmer just adds to our broad portfolio in neonatal care so we just have it here showcase it here for the first time but one of the most or very important topic is all the digital solutions that we actually bring so this is a new thing for a company like us known for medical devices only but now it's more and more moving into digital solutions as well and those digital solutions are they new to the industry or new for draeger well both actually i mean the digital transformation really enters the healthcare market more and more. Um, it's really necessary because, I mean, you see this shift of staff, uh, staff lack in, in, in all institutions. So we need digital solutions to actually support their, their work, make procedures easier, clinical decision support, these kind of things. And what of your products are the delegates most excited to see? Well, we'll see. We've just started, so I hope we can draw some attraction, especially for the digital tools. We also have a, a, a something on display in the Intelligent Health Pavilion, so we showcase some of these digital tools over there. So I'm really excited to, to meet people and get their feedback. And can you give me an example of a positive case study of where one of your products have had a positive impact? Well, business-wise, of course, because we see that the the digital add-ons, they really make the difference in, in sales success for, for medical products. But we also get that feedback that they really make the life of our customers easier. So faster working, better clinical decision support, that's the feedback that we get and that's part of our success. And what do you get at Arab Health that you just can't get anywhere else? Well, compared to many other shows, I mean, the, the simple size here is, is just amazing and for us, the, the region here, Middle East, Africa, but also all the people who come here from Europe, from Asia, um, it's, it's just the spot to meet people and, and you hardly find any place where so many different stakeholders come together. And how do you think the healthcare industry has progressed recently? Well, as I said before, this, this digital transformation really takes place now. We are still lagging a bit behind other industries like Industry 4.0 but digital tools play an increasing important role in our industry and that is something that you see everywhere around here. It's really exciting. And what would you advise someone getting into the healthcare industry now? Wow, I mean, the, the, the regulatory hurdles are pretty high, but I can just advise, especially startups, don't give up, try. Partner with the industry, partner with the existing bigger industry to help you to get in because it's very hard to, to really do that for a startup company, for a small company on their own. So my advice would be really cooperate with others. Brilliant. Thank you for your time, Michael. My pleasure. Thank you.